Today's results video is brought to you by Game Deals. For all your retro gaming needs, these guys kick ass. I mean, check it out. He's got Brigandine for the PS1 for $24.95. That's quite a find if you ask me. Battle of Olympus on the NES for 5 bucks? Yes, yes, yes! Now, this shop is located in New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. So if, like me, you're not in their neck of the woods, you'll probably have to do the same thing I'll have to do. Go to their website and buy it online at www.gamedeals.ca. Or you can give them a call at 604-540-0582. You know, retro video game shops are a rare breed these days. They ain't easy to maintain, I ought to know. I got friends who own a retro shop in my old stomping grounds. Support your local mom-and-pop video game store if you got one, folks. You'll be sad when they're gone. I've seen some close down, and, and it always sucks. In this day and age of emulators and ROMs, there's still nothing quite like busting out an old system and playing it the old-fashioned way. And what a great segue into our results video. Get comfortable, dear viewer. Here's the compilation of the SNES Reviewing Contest. Yes, even my baby loves old SNES games. Isn't that right, baby? No, 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 baby, we already did that. So, let's get on with the show. First of all, uh... Response to Asalieri's... <laughs> my username's Asalieri. Response to Asalieri's... No, it's Asalieri. This first release contest, and I... It's Asalieri. It's Asalieri. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite SNES games for Asalieri's review, co uh, review contest. You know what, you can just call me Tella. Okay then, so let's have a quick look-see at all these guys one by one. First up, Judah Konzo, who reviewed... You Doom for the Super Nintendo. First of all, the game is hideous. I mean, I understand that this is a first-person shooter... I would say turn down the video's volume, bro. A lot. If you happen to be recording simultaneously as you play, turn your mic up a bit and your game down a bit more. It doesn't help that Doom's music on the SNES is anything but pleasant, but it's totally drowning you out. What's this? I'm trying to pass by this block, but no matter how hard I try, I get stuck on a corner. For the most part, although it felt a bit rushed, the observations are valid and straight to the point. Kick ass. I mean, look at that shot. It wasn't even dead on and it still made it. First-person shooters shouldn't be on the Super Nintendo. I beg to differ. Super Scope 6 was fun as hell. Battle Clash was fun, too. I think what you really needed was an actual gun, my friend. Next up, Shi Tamashi. Okay. Say something? Anything? Dead air. Dead or bad. Fire. Killing my ears. Fire. Thank you, NBA 1990. You have made your point. Fire. Thank you, NBA 1990. Well, it could be worse. You could be drawing attention to foxes with tits. Uh, what? Okay, time to switch channels. Here's Draco's on. Today I'm reviewing Boogerman, a pick and flick adventure. It's a dark and stormy night. Uh, no, really, I, I, I can read, thank you. No, 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 uh, please, I, I can read. I can read. By trans-existing its dimension excrement. It's definitely not the best platforming game out there. It does have its flaws. It's a mediocre platforming game. If you enjoy games like Super Mario World or Mega Man, then you should give this one a try. Conflicting report there, man. It's mediocre, but you liken it to Mario World and Mega Man? Wait. It's a mediocre platforming game. It's fun to play, and it's very interesting. The game doesn't try anything different or anything we haven't seen already in other games. It's very interesting to see the unique world of Boogerman. So, it's pretty shallow. It's definitely a game that shouldn't be taken seriously, and if you enjoy Ren and Stimpy style humor and potty jokes, even to this day, then you should give this one a try. In short, the best part about it is also its biggest flaw. You had tons of contradictions within a span of a minute. That's both hilarious and incredible. Funny, but make up your mind, gosh darn it! Next up, Vixor. 
definitely the text. While you made it work well with your review, I can't help but imagine how much better it would have been with your voice. Some intelligent and well thought out points. Some humor mixed in there with some good info and you're showing up the irate gamer and at the end the game dude too. This ending. January spelled with a Y. Unless... You're from somewhere else, aren't you? Okay, your turn, AMT. We'll be taking a look at the game out to lunch. Fuck! Suck balls through a straw, tomato fucks. Stupid piece of shit. I mean the horrible. Whenever you jump, it's like you're on the moon. When he puts away the unnecessary cursing, he does manage to point out some things. And that's cool. I'm jumping on him, that's not doing anything. How does this work? Stupid piece of shit. Yeah, AMT, you don't need to pepper your review with shits and fucks. I realize there's a certain temptation to say those words there, but it, it sounds forced in your case, and it takes away from your review. Oh yeah, the timing on this comment is a little off, too. Check this out. Look at that flag. Amazing 3D right there. Now... Alright, people, saddle up. We're going south of the border for the next one. This is Isrita Carito. Hello, friends. This is Israel. And I'm gonna review a video game. So if I had to rate this game, graphics, are, it's a 10. Sound, also, also 10. Gameplay. I give them a 10, you know. It's a very good game for for the Super Nintendo. Really? Everything a perfect 10? So what you're saying is basically Super Street Fighter 2 is the most perfect game on Earth, the game all of them should strive to be like. Look, it's okay to like a game, but you should probably be more objective, man. You're not going to find Super Street Fighter 2 at the top of the majority of lists. It's a good game, sure, but straight across 10s? That's nostalgia and fandom speaking. I'm gonna review Super Street Fighter 2. You chose a good game for your review rather than something easy to trash. You also pointed out some good things like its faithfulness to the arcade version. Revenge comes cheap. Really cheap. Next up, Digiron 92. Look, I pretty much did this in what, two or three days? Yep. This is the gameplay. Yes, these people even called it some bearable, okay. horrible, veteran, terribly animated. Okay. Ugly, horrifying, uh, Okay, I get it! How love schlock gameplay. You have a slight tendency to ramble a bit. There, there are parts where your diction is slightly off, too. Uh, I can barely get what you're saying sometimes. Kudos for obscurity, man! Not that I'll be digging for that crappy game anytime soon. You could get a cheap laugh out of it, so go ahead. You see? Chin's shooting something, but he doesn't even have a gun. So how does he shoot? And if you think that's weird, look at enemies. You're fighting against red army mannequins, escaped mental patients, jaywalking escaped mental patients, Yakuza limos, and best of all, the big ass digitized severed head of Dong Xiaoping from hell. <laughs> This game was made for the Super Nintendo by a bunch of home group programmers known as Happy Sub Limited in 1995. This it song! This song! Curse you, Digiron 92! Wow. Oh, oh in this comment. So okay. First of all, what does a migration of people into a certain region have to do with increasing crime rate? Actually, there is an established correlation between population size and increase in crime rate. 
part of it is actually due to density. Not that this game has anything really to do with anything that deep, you know, it's not even worth pointing out with a game this lame. Anyhow, folks, this took longer than I thought. I think I got a little ambitious with this project, but I'm going to see it through, and next up, the remaining eight contestants, plus, of course, who was selected by our panel of six judges. Yep, my vote wasn't the only one counted, folks. Stay tuned, if you like.